If you want. Hello everyone, Ryan here and today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Grizzly Bear album titled Painted Ruins. Grizzly Bear is an indie rock, indie folk, psychedelic folk band from New York. They have some very critically acclaimed albums under their belt, um, their first album being Yellow House, which I think is a, an amazing psychedelic folk album, one of the better ones you'll probably hear. And then they went on to do a more accessible album in 2009 with The Ketamist, which again went over really well, and I think that is a quality album too. I never got around to listening to Shields unfortunately though, but this album is actually their first album in five years. And they're still sounding pretty tight, I mean, pair them up against a band like Arcade Fire who started off around the same time as Grizzly Bear, and you would um, definitely put Grizzly Bear higher up in comparison to what Arcade Fire sound like now. Painted Ruins is a very intricately composed album with a lot of beautiful arrangements across the whole thing. There are some glistening synths scattered across this album too, particularly on the closing track that is one of the more glistening sounding songs on the whole album and it actually gives off a bit of an Alt-J vibe which is a bit of a controversial thing to say probably because Alt-J's latest album got absolutely panned by everyone in the world. Certainly interesting to see though that um, Alt-J are quite a similar band to Grizzly Bear so you know you can see that Grizzly Bear have had an influence on modern bands too. Not that Grizzly Bear are, are an old band but you know their folk sound is really unique and I think a lot of bands out there really look at Grizzly Bear's sound as an inspiration as well. And it's obviously easy to see why, I mean this album is such a pleasant listen, it's so nice on the ears, it flows incredibly well, like um, throughout the past few months I don't think I've heard an album that flows this consistently all the way through. However, I've got to get to the main criticisms for me for this album. I mean, as much as it flows really well and this album as a whole has a really nice aesthetic to it, I don't really feel like on an individual level these tracks have that much star power. There are only a few tracks that really stand out in a way that can make you definitely separate it from the rest of the other tracks surrounding it. Of course, Morning Sound is easily the biggest highlight on the album. I mean, this song has that same accessible sound as some of the tracks did on Viketimist. I do really like the way the drum beat and the drum pattern bounces along on the song. It really moves along and progresses really well. It's a really catchy track. I think it's definitely the best here. Aquarian is of course another highlight on this album because of that instrumentation. I mean it's so thick and bright that you just can't help but love it. It's a catchy track as well with harmonized vocals that come in in the background that just sounds so grizzly bear and so excellent. It's the kind of song that they've always made so well but it never really gets boring or old. I mean grizzly bear just do it effortlessly and it sounds excellent. Glass Hillside is a track where we hear the vocals that just have a bit of a psychedelic tinge to them. I mean, they're kind of lazy and a bit hazy throughout the song as well. And on the chorus, um, it picks up a bit and I really like the refrain as well. Objects of all desire. It slightly calls back to their older psychedelic roots, but it's not too psychedelic like a track you would hear on Yellow House. But it's also kind of cool because it is a track that is similar to that sound but it's like as if it is 10 years later and that's how they now sound and I do kind of like that vibe to the song. It's really cool to see when a band like starts off with a really good sound but then they progress to that sound further and then the, the end result is still pretty good as well. And lyrically, of course, they're still opaque and abstract as ever. They haven't changed in that sense. And you do have to often read into the lyrics to kind of understand what's going on. But that's not really the biggest selling point for me on this album. I think it's just the aesthetic that I really like. It's really pleasing, as I've already said. The album never really gets boring, but it never really grabs me, you know, in the same way that their previous efforts have done. Still a quality album from Grizzly Bear though, you should check it out if you've heard their previous material and if you haven't, go back to Yellow House for Ketamist and check out them and if you like them then go to this album too. I'm going to say this album is a C plus and if you like this review make sure you subscribe for more reviews and have a good day.